Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amongst the pristine teachings of Islam is that it impresses upon its followers the adoption of precaution. Islam is a very calculated and responsible religion. But coupled with that, Islam equally alerts us that the adoption of precaution cannot alter destiny in any way. Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam said to his children, La tadkhulu min babin wahid. Oh my children, when you enter the Egyptian court, do not enter from one door. Camouflage yourself, lest you are targeted by the jealous eye. But furthermore, he said, وَمَا أُغْنِي عَنْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ If Allah has intended for you to be afflicted in a particular way, my strategy will be futile. It will not help you in any way because it cannot override the decision and the decree of Allah. There is a companion, radiyallahu anhu, expressing his love for his son, said it very amazingly, تَخَافُ الرَّدَى نَفْسِي عَلَيْكَ Oh my son, I am afraid that no difficulty and injury must come to you. I want to ward off all evil from you. But I also know that regardless of the precaution I impress upon you, if Allah has decreed and ordained your death, my precautions cannot change what Allah has destined for you. When Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu was going in a particular campaign, someone said, are you not afraid of death? Wow, what did Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu say? He said, afir. Which day of death are you referring to that I must flee from? The supposed day of death or the actual day of death? Yawma, the day on which my death has not been decreed, la arhabuhu. Why should I be afraid? Because my death has not been decreed, I simply cannot die on that day. And the day my Allah has decreed my death, I simply cannot live. So what's the message, my brother and my sister? Tie your camel, but don't strangle it.